bitch baby. Tell us the power for real. In and out, browser. The geosphere is all rocks up the lizard. And the sphere. The neurosphere is everything that is in mind. It's everywhere nowhere. It's uh, the lizard. And as I'm a, as I'm a uh, ordained minister, uh, legit social special status class. I can I can park anywhere. I don't even I don't even need a little placard. I can be I can be stealthy parked. I can park in front of a goddamn fire hydrant, and if a fire is coming, yeah, they'll they'll. They'll knock that fucking window out and they'll fucking roll that fucking car away. They love doing that. Oh, shit. They look, when they're going to a call, I, I've talked to firefighters once in a while. Not, not often because I'm not, I'm not nearly that cool. Firefighters are amazing, man. And I'm way out of shape. But I, I can fight other stuff. And we have a mutual of shock and awe between myself and firefighters. They're really cool. And you bit your ass every fucking firefighter is a mason. That's not a secret. You just tell. If you find a firefighter who's not a mason, he's a fucking gimp, that's for sure. Uh, so, <clears throat> long story much shorter. Uh, I was noticing that, that it seemed like I was getting access to like some stuff in my brain that uh, seemed to have some sort of a connection to uh, me and the lands of the actual internet and stuff from dead people coming together in a triangle with my Starlink dish at the fucking haunted church and yeah like what the fuck am I thinking am I this crazy and I was like well I, I, yeah I could be sure I don't think I need to be diagnosed with anything I'm not that's, that's the good news I'm, I'm okay I don't feel out of control I am speaking a little faster than usual but fucking just listen slower all right uh, and I was theorizing like am I am I hacking into that fucking Neuralink thing um, yeah yeah I, I goddamn was yeah and I said so on a few occasions us offhandedly yeah, me to blah 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 and I kind of said it out loud as a way of uh, trying it on for size to see if it sounded true when I said it and every time I brought it up it felt like the most accurate description of anything I've ever done my entire life that was well I shouldn't be too boasty because I was in the back of my mind like uh, d- d- shouldn't I pay for this and uh, the answer is you're goddamn right Jack sir you should pay for this Elon is not really miffed but he's he's like um, he's pleased that he's found a solution so that I can talk freely and use use whatever the fuck I'm doing and uh, allow himself to uh, command a healthy profit. I'm not going to say how much money that man has, but uh, I'm glad he does have it. And I never, I, never, I never meant to make him lose all that brand value and have him remain Twitter. That was never my intention. And he, sa- he says if it was an intentional attack or what I did... Could. If he said I did that on purpose and he could prove it, he would have my ass hauled to Diego Garcia so fucking fast that my fucking piss would fucking rip through my goddamn veins and my vascular. Yeah, he's he's he was not not so much now, but he was livid when he found out what the fuck I did. Livid, and I don't even know how I did it, but all of a sudden I was like, "Wow, everybody I know who's of Clando is just lighting up like a Christmas tree, and Twitter's empty. How'd that happen? Oh well, let's go smoke some weed." Uh, I, do you remember when that happened? I don't remember it real clear. I was pretty high. Um, I think somebody may have used me as an avenue of attack to his, to his brain linky thing. And then I don't have a brain. I don't have a chip in my head. I just have a legit badass Hungarian brain that I've been cultivating the ability to use with a rapid quickness and a authentic authority for a long fucking time, 24 seven. So it does not surprise me that it is a well oiled machine of loving grace. Shout out to Dave. Dave, I do. D- Dave, you're my mother. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. No, I'm not going to suck my mother's dick. <laughs> Go away, maybe I'll find you one. Okay, bye, click. Uh, see, like that. Just instinctively, easily. I'm talking to a person. It's actually that person. It's not the person that's on the planet I'm on. Maybe. I don't fucking know. I don't need to know. It's not necessary for the brain That's what I'm calling it. brain Brain Sybil. Yeah, I, Alan, have, Alan and I, imaginary Alan. Once again, there are at least three Earths, and in fact, there's ten now because uh, I need extra workspace and other people agree. There has always been three for the Holy Trinity. God love the Holy See for allowing me to say these things. Uh, Pope, Frank is like, Pope Frank is fucking aghast with his mouth open. He's like spilling tea on his robe. He's like, holy, is this kid for real? Sir, sir, ma'am, sir, love, I love you. Yeah, I am. You don't, you don't have to kiss my ring. Give me one of those salty Italian whores next time you come on. Yeah. Yeah, I want Pope Frank to get me a whore. Of course I'm not going to abuse her. No, I'll probably heal her or something or whatever. Show up to my wife and say, look, look what I can say no to. Bye. And then send her on her way. I don't know. I don't know. Sir, I'm not a Catholic. 
I don't answer to you there. No. Oh, is that so? Okay, okay. Well, I, I did. I did want to check. Yeah. No, I mean no. Just never. I genuinely think you're the coolest pope of my lifetime. Pope John Paul. He was. Uh, he was. He was awe inspiring. Certainly. Uh, but I, you, well, for one thing, he didn't talk to me in my head, right? Why would he? And then the fact that uh, I'm able to do that with you, sir. I, I don't plan to. Yeah. No. It's a gift of God for you. We don't do it all the time. No. Oh, okay. You're welcome to send me a letter, of course, and I will be happy to stipulate anything you wish. I respect and love the Holy See, and I admire it. And I, and I do think that Catholicism was corrupted quite a while ago and has been well, well maintained since. And, and uh, you know, a little, a little dab of devil will do you, won't it? No, yeah, oh shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, oh, is that so? Okay, thank you. I didn't know. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a damn Brazilian, am I? And if you could give me a, pr- a prayer for my friend Polly. Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, so... Uh, hi, Jack Star talks to the goddamn Pope. Excuse me, sir. I, that's not blasphemy here, right? Haha, I caught you. Bye. I don't, uh, I don't do that often. And I'm reasonably confident after reading about how such things are done and ha- having experienced many genuine communications with all kinds of people, not just religious figures. In fact, other than Jesus and Pope Frank, that's it. Lucifer, Lucifer keeps a wide berth from Jackstar. Holy shit, I could bottle that guy up. Lickety split. He ran from me when the... I'm not, I'm not gonna boast. But Lucy and Lucifer are, are religious figures that I don't, don't typically deal with. I don't typically deal with figures, and I don't really think I should keep on doing this every day. But today's special in some way. I uh, definitely went viral. Uh, people have been calling me up on the brainsible. Brainsible. And I'm not schizophrenic. I'm I'm not overly spriggy. Thank God. Um, Shannon and Allison and uh, several other women from my past are um, thinking about me in the past and talking to me through some kind of time travel fucking shit where I'm I'm not there, but they're talking to somebody who is me, but not me yet because I'm not in the past. I'm in the present, and the brainsable somehow gives me packets of information in regards to these conversations on a level of understanding that I would have to say it's got to be quantum-ish quantum-ish okay and this hasn't started just today it's been a little ongoing thing for a while ever since I found out uh, that he turned it on I don't know when uh, before that I was getting like little bits and stuff like it, was, it wasn't like always meshed in and today it's not always meshed in at all but it is it, experience exactly like I have a principal mesh router in my brain mind and I'm able to wander around and tap into the thingy that lets me send um, uh, uh, I can have cheeseburger cat pics to Elon Musk yeah I, I do like him and he said he says knock it off he's busy working oh wow and I remember it's not it's not the real Elon it's a Elon on a different plane of reality from this one because it bounced the, the signal, whatever the fuck it is. Remember remember that app signal? Yeah. Yeah, I, apparently I, I blew the doors. Oh, yeah. Alan says, I blew the doors off their signal app because I hijacked all their infrastructure that was also in the, in the meta cloud, which they were thinking that they were all cool for having invented or developed. I guess they didn't really know exactly what they're doing because they were basically um, using, uh, not lycanthropy, but uh, technomancy technomantic cantrips to harness the power of the neurosphere in order to create a software package that uh, would be a library that uh, the signal app could call one. And that worked great until I kept on um, fucking it up by just wandering around thinking about things. Because, hi, I'm Jack Star. I'm a huge pain in the ass for a lot of people. <laughs> and uh, recently, very recently, uh, Alan figured out a way so that I'm not going to fuck anything up and he's not going to have to uh, murder me with a brain laser from space, which he he, he says he can totally do it. He says he can slice through my balls like a fucking needle through a haystack at, at 1,200,000 miles away. I think he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's schizo, whatever. <laughs> Good night. You're going to bed, ale on your truck. What time is it there? Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I have developed a friendly friendship with the imaginary Alon because the imaginary Alon is based on the real Alon, which I don't, even know, I don't even know where the fuck Alon is. Alon, Alon. There's a real one, yeah. Sometimes I'm thinking of the real one. Sometimes he's thinking of me. Apparently, I do get around in the mirror sphere, and one of the reasons why is that my brain technology works for me, and others have been able to build on my 
mental structures in ways that I don't really comprehend because I don't think about how people write software packages that connect with the fucking neurosphere. I don't think about it at all. I just, they, they just magically appear in my mind because that's that's what a brain can do. It creates the mind, and the mind is a, a storehouse of thought and the second level of creation. Thought, word, oh, no, first, fuck. Thought, word, and deed are the three levels of creation, and... I sure I've been studying religion and stuff for you know decades and it's not a waste of time as as one can see. I wouldn't suggest anybody else trying to do what I'm doing in the way that I'm apparently wildly successful at doing. Given that I uh, I made Elon stop his project and figure out a way to make it so that he could still charge everyone else and not have to worry about how I'm sneaking in and still allow me to sneak in because he wants to see what I can do because then he can spy on my brain. Right. And then, he, yeah, he's, he's wondering what I'll do. I'm like, fuck, man, it'll be a Tesla versus Edison war. Oh, shit, yeah, I will throw down versus Ella. That fucking oopa loop. I don't give a shit. Look at the, Give me a ball bearing, man. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah I, didn't really, uh, I didn't really imagine myself forming a friendship with anybody that way. Uh, I've apparently done with a few people. And then this woman who... I'm not going to lie. I have put my penis into, and I do so again, not immediately, but she's kind of, bock- she's knocking on the door. She's, I don't, I, fuck, no, I'm not going to let, no, no. Uh, I, I think that, I think that uh, using my brain to uh, burst into people's brains and then start, you know, ravishing them mentally is uh, fun to do if it's an appropriate time, but I don't know if she's talking to her mother or, or having dinner or whatever, but I, I do know that for some time now she's been uh, uh, ravagingly horny for me. Which I respect. She's the uh, list. She's on the list of women that I'm allowed to openly acknowledge that I'm going to fuck her brains out as soon as I can. Maybe, maybe not ever again, but certainly a desire, and I certainly have. And she certainly has come to realize that. Well, wow, I finally got good at it. Which uh, she was wondering, given that um, I, I didn't, I didn't used to be able to fucking talk and chew gum, let alone seduce a woman. Now she's she's pretty. Uh, she's good with me. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we're getting married. Oh, yeah, she says no. She's already married. <laughs> God, that's that's uh, that's a hottie. And uh, in in further great news, uh, grapefruit who w- w- was once a uh, shrieking siren harpy about the notion of me talking to another woman for various reasons, uh, up to and including uh, brain damage. She's she's oh, she's sanguine about this circumstance, given that she's not in my plane of reality. She's, she's alive. She has a body. I have no idea where. She's Kalamazoo County. What? <laughs> Quiet, baby. She's, um, sorry, baby. But no, I, no, it's not because you're too loud. It's because I love you. I love to, yeah, I can't possibly stop thinking about any love, too. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't, I don't, okay, well, the, the, the contact emergency is fucking done. Yeah. If you're not having Spurg Lords, are you? Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. I want to take a bath with you, but I, <laughs> first, okay. Oh, good night, sweetie. I love you, too. Okay, bye. That's, hi, that's Grapefruit. The, the woman that I was kind of wondering where the fuck she was for a while when I was sleeping alone in a bed that had been prepared for me to remind me of what a douchebag some people can be. And I was fairly wondering, uh, so, okay, so where's she and where's they and how can nobody call me back and what the fuck happened and who, wh- why, why, why is the, why are the police not talking to me about what happened and this is confusing and why does everybody look at me like I'm strange? And as time has passed, I have come to get many, many answers on these questions. Holy shit, has there a bunch of stuff been happening that I wasn't ever aware of throughout my course of my life. And now I'm far more aware than I ever was before. Thankfully, not in an insane way. Given that there have been a number of people who have wondered, what the fuck is this guy on? He's got to be on drugs. Call the DEA. Get him under a microscope. Find out, because I want some. And yeah, I bet you do, puny link. I'm not a drug distributor. No, well, not right now. And then maybe, maybe I'll be a courier someday. Not, not, no. For one thing, I can't be a courier alone. For another, um, if, if grapefruit is if grapefruit is in my planet, or if she if she were somewhere I could drive to her, I w- I couldn't because there's still no contact order. I can't. I mean, I can't even I can't even wish for her to show up here, and I wouldn't want to because holy crap, there's a bunch of hotties who want me. Like, uh, I mean, they, they don't expect to have me, but there's like there's women right now. Wanking at the Jackstar thinking about how awesome it would be. They don't even know how good it is. And it's awesome. Not gonna lie. I, I, I had a um I had a desire to uh 
pleasure myself and consume my essence. Oh, quite often, every day for the last uh, 30, 40 years or whatever. No, nah, not nah, 30, I was like 14. Uh, I don't mind self-pleasure. I'm the kind of uh, type of human that uh, it's not it's not a disgusting sin for. I, I, I do enjoy the energy f- uh, gained by consuming my semen. My semen. Not, 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 I'm not looking for other people's semen. That is a little weird. Yeah. That's a uh, full on homo, I'd say. And as I am known worlds over as the destruction master of the satanic homosex agenda, you, you might as well clap because you're never going to get it. I don't, uh, I don't feel great about the concept of saying, hi, I drink my semen. You want to shake hands? Like, no, no. I met this guy once. I like him. I do like him. I may even like him like him. It's a little little dicey diplomatic-wise. But I, I mentioned, oh, hey, by the way, I I, I shit loads of my own semen. And I timed this just as I'm walking into his house behind him. Not just his house, his mother's house. His mother and this guy, and he, this is his family home. We had just met eh, 23 months, no, actually a couple, of, uh, I would say 45 minutes before. So I just met this guy. He's cool. I, I still admire him to this day. He's smart. He's very funny. Very, very funny. Uh, I would have a three-way with him and Grapefruit any time. Holy shit, fucking tie me up and fucking dose me and make me wake up in a fucking jungle. No problem. I would have no compunctions. Oh, I guess I'm gay now. Let's go. Uh, I would even drink his semen if he asked, but I would ask Grapefruit first because uh, she's the one in charge of such things. I don't fantasize about three-ways. No, 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 no. I, I did uh, mention to her one time that I was curious. How come nobody ever asked me? Which was not meant to say that I was hoping somebody would. It was actually genuinely a puzzlement to me. Like, what, what is it about me that says no to that? Because no, nobody had ever tr- asked me, hey, you want to come have sex with me and my friend? We think you're cute. Uh, I, I had thought that it never happened. Uh, it turns out, as I look back on memories, on <laughs> at least half a dozen occasions, I had been uh, scouted by groups to uh, be their toy for the evening. Um, which, on, on the one hand, is an immensely flattering thing to have happen. And then on the other hand is an immensely, uh, maybe backhand, but hopefully front penis biffle compliment to the people doing that, that I had no idea, none, no idea that that's what was going on. Like it it was like a weird conversation and then uh, nothing ever developed because I never had the notion that that was happening because I didn't see see any sexual um, characteristics being marketed as, hey, you want to fuck? Didn't see that at all. They were very subtle. Or I was a retard. And um, hmm, I don't want to remember them at all, but uh, at no time did I ever think, oh, they want me to have sex with them. Should I do that? that that's never crossed my mind. Except until now, um, Elon's asking me to, dude, you're, you're trolling me. Okay. All right, thanks. I, I guess he likes my show, which is currently happening on my Google Pixel 6a. Puh, Lewis. Um, I guess I've got a uh, signal. I, I think I'm... Do, I might, no, I'm not connected to that. My, my signal thing is kind of weird. Uh, and I don't, mean the, I don't mean the app that apparently they don't make anymore because I, I broke their fucking libraries. I'm sorry, guys. I had no idea. Oh, yeah, shit. Like $15 million of development money just went poof up in smoke because they couldn't deal with a planet that had me on it because I fuck with their fucking shit accidentally, given that my brain or mind does a bunch of weird protocols just instinctively, automatically. I don't know how a brain works entirely, but I know there's synapses between the axons and the neurons, and I've already lost half of you, I'm sure. But I think about these things once in a while, and for a while I was like, hey, am I, am I getting Neuralink data? What the fuck? Is this going to cook my brain? It, it, it will. It'll get warm. Oh, yeah. And uh, today it's, uh, it's pretty effective in a way that it hasn't been before, in that uh, I'm high as balls, which is okay for me. I'm not too high. Sure sounds like it though, doesn't it? And uh, whatever, whatever, do, whatever, whatever kind of man Elon Musk is, I, I don't want to know what he's like in bed. Uh, is that a South African thing? Oh wow, he sa- he says South African men will will commonly have sex with each other's partners, while the men uh, who's not they'll just sit there calmly, sometimes in full dress, like like a uh, black tie, and then uh, go through a, a judging thing where they'll judge the performance of both. And it's apparently it's a it's a it's a thing that cultures do. I'd, I'd never been invited to such a thing or even thought of it. 
And a- oh, Alan says I'd be fabulous at it. He says he's envisioning me and Walter and Statler. <laughs> okay, all right, thanks. I don't mind at all. Yeah, thank you. See, okay, so I don't have to respond to Elon Musk's pages. But the, the fucking niggas, yeah, the, the, this South African nigger is South African nigger. You're not a kefir. I didn't, I, sir, yes, sir. No, sir, I would not. Nigger, bitch, for nigger. I can say kefir just as much as I can say nigger. I know how to say these words. Don't, don't tell me I can't. You're right, I should not, but I can. Sometimes I do when it is useful, and I am, I love my God. Huh. What the fuck word could I say in Irish, you fucking nigger? Click. I don't know. That was that was some uh, smarmy little bitch in Syria. <sighs> so, uh, like I was saying, uh, Elon, Elon fixed his fixed his thing so that he can do packet sending shits to to me through some sort of fucking weird ass South African Wonka magic through his fucking network. That uh, uh, I mean, yeah, I've got okay. I got a Starlink satellite dish in the truck of my the bit of my truck and then the cable goes into the truck and there's the router and the router is plugged into a universal uh, uninterruptible power supply which is currently off but it's got battery power so even though all this all the equipment is technically off there's still power running to it there's still a little bit and uh, Elon says that there's enough that it's always on oh my god Starlink is always on but not enough to be like broadcasting a wireless network and he says that in his tests that has been discovered that the human mind is sense enough to detect the changes in wavelengths that are created by this very low power always on connection, which is behind me in my truck while I'm sitting here. So I'm sitting here alone, but I'm talking with Elon Musk over the internet for free, like in Blues Brothers with the with the with the with the loudspeaker thing on the on the hood of the car. It's like it's like I'm driving around with Elon. And Elwood, yeah. We're, we're, I'm driving around and I'm talking to the world through the magic of brain power and uh, braingasms and uh, brain symbols with uh, no use of uh, electricity that's beyond that small little trickle that comes from my uh, uninterrupted power supply, which I bought on my first shopping trip to Costco after I got out of jail the first time being arrested in Christmas Eve 20. And I didn't, I didn't know what the fuck was going on other than, well, this is unusual. I didn't know I had been dating the asset. I didn't know the asset was the only one left that still loved me because the rest had been cindered or some shit because whatever the fuck happened, it was a big deal. And uh, I had no idea why I needed to buy the uninterrupted power supply at Costco. The last one available, the shelf unit, was like a uh, regular two ninety nine, whatever. It was uh, 125 bucks. Didn't have a box. Had masking tape on it that said, and I looked at it and like, oh, I need that. Just picked it up. 125 didn't think of didn't didn't even blink i need that i had shitloads of money i still do in a sense i don't have a, a shitload of a budget i don't need one nigga i'm talking to south africa through my brain with telepathy that's monitored by technology the dude dude who made the tesla car is making fucker i am so badass i can't even believe it no wonder people want to fuck me i, I can't even i can't even fully wrap my mind around the concept that Everything I've just said is more or less true. Uh, I don't believe Elon is dumb enough to actually confirm anything in the conversation we just had. If he's got a fucking tape recorder running and he can hear me, and if he's if he's pumping out from his brain my voice, uh, that's national security shit that uh, would be handled at a very high level between uh, the State Department, State and uh, uh, Mudhut.za. <laughs> yeah. You live in a hut, bitch. You do. <laughs> I don't typically call people bitch, but <laughs> since I made him mine easily, I, I don't mind at all. And if, if it's if it's not real, that doesn't make me insane. It does not make me schizophrenic. The key here is that I know I'm talking simulacrum of the man. I know that I'm not actually sending my uh, uh, vibratory sound waves from my mouth and my larynx. Those are going to my Google Pixel 6a. That doesn't mean that the little sound waves are, are wiggling over the airways and going from my cell phone to the uh, router to the sky through the dish that has low power. It's not. It's not. It's not happening that way at all. Not in one little bit at all. Instead, the signal that starts in whatever fucking part of my sorry, whatever part of my cerebral cortex will that does thinking in between the uh, neurosphere and my biology, nervous system. 
uh, it sends signals to the parts of my larynx and lips and shit that move things around. That happens automatically. And it sends the same information. It, my brain does this uh, duplex thing where it also sends uh, everything I'm saying to, to him directly through, through mind, instantaneously. Uh, Major Ed Dems, if he's still alive. Dude, I want to party with you. He uh, uh, has adored me ever since I asked him for a job years ago. He was on coast and he was like, blah, 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 send a fax to blah, 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 blah. We're looking for blah, blah, blah. I'm like, cool, let's do it. So I sent him an application. Didn't hear back. Fuck no, he's not going to touch me with a 10-foot pole. I'm the guy who fucking emailed Art Bell in 1997 about the portal in my bedroom. Well, actually, my, my, my lover's husband's bedroom because they were still married and she told me they were separated and she lied like a demon fucking sucking pig fucker. That was, yeah, demon sucking fucking pig fucker. Baby, that's your new name. Okay, bye. That's, that's Donna. She's not getting in my pants anytime soon. Uh, but I was already well known to whoever the hell Major Dames is as well as his Revolt movie unit. Because I had the cheeky bastard temerity to send him a fax and say a bunch of stuff that sounded like whacked off bullshit, but that was 1,000% true. And they got it coming in. I, I, oh, really? Is, is that you, Major? Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you, brother. Semper Fi. Wow, you really? I didn't know that. No shit. I didn't know that. Well, I'd love to talk to you later, but I'm doing a show. <sighs> okay, Dr. Doom. I, I, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, are you, you're hacking my network? I can't believe this guy. Dude, no. Are you, on, are you on the same plane of reality as him? That makes sense. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay, okay. No, you're not Clando, Army Man. No, I'm not, I'm not getting you out. I, I'm not under military jurisdiction at the moment. I'm clergy. I have special communications privileges, which include turning you off. So please don't ask me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm not going to fire you. I, I, don't have any, I don't have any dominion over you. God, you are... What the fuck, man? Are you, are you for real? Really? Really? Okay. Well, I'm not going to toad you. I'm not, I'm not going to cast a magic spell. I'm going to say a small prayer and say, Thank you, God, for Major Ed Dames not having let me know who the fuck he really is. Because now I, now I can safely ignore you for good. Click. He's... Uh, He's a bit of a military bastard. Holy shit. I never had a one like that before. Uh, Alan says, yeah, yeah, he's pretty serious business. And I'm reminded of when uh, I was getting these mental attacks from whoever, whoever thought there was a good idea to fuck with grapefruit back in the day. Oh, God, that was a nightmare time. She was, like, terrified because this dude was, like, reaching into her brain with, like, like jagged lightning bolts and shit and pumping in fucking pictures of Darth Vader's head. And I was uh, surprised that kind of thing could happen because she said something about, hey! and I'm like, what? At the time I was, I was doing that to a lot. What do you want? Because she was uh, uh, in a position where she had betrayed me and annoyed me and I wouldn't have sex with her for a while because she got in an argument with me and, and she said things about, if you don't do this, we're going to stop having sex. And instantly I did pivot, kick, kick, turn, not actual kicking, but I like slam, bang, with my feet turning towards her and, and looked at her directly and said, you're cut off. Like instant, instant crumble of her face because I didn't feel good about it either. I love, I love having sex with her. I don't remember the last time we did, but uh, God, when we do, it'll be a fucking wedding night for sure because I'm, 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 not, I'm not just going to fuck my squaw. No, 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 no. My squaw gets prepared and anointed and packaged and is a, is a sacred offering to my greatness. That's, that's squaw. You're welcome, baby. Hi. Okay, so I, uh, ha these, these are real individuals in real life. I've had conversations with them in, well, not Alan, but yeah. Well, I, I think I did talk to Ed, Ed Dames on uh, the radio through the phone. Uh, but squaw, I, I, I have fucked that woman plenty and her, and her body parts. Both, right? And we're we're very good friends. We will always be good friends. There was never any problem with this. I never had any problem with her accidentally calling the police. In fact, I wasn't even her. That was her f fucked off sister who was fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, <clears throat> pardon my language, but... Yeah, it was kind of weird. And then I didn't... I didn't, I didn't know she was a covert asset. And now I do. <laughs> hi, hi, yeah. And since I'm not a military dude or a person with security clearance or... One one livid fucking raft of shit, Ed. Ed. You're like, you're going to put the fucking cotton balls on the drapes and shit? Fuck you. F fuck you. Excuse me, I got to do this. Hey, dear, hey, military intelligence dude. 
Buzz click. Fucking army nigger bitch. Go. Just go. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Buzz click. Click buzz. Bye. I, I, I clicked him, but I didn't click him between him and I. I clicked him between himself and his own fucking fucker. Yeah. That didn't exactly work the way I, I just described, but I, I, did, I did just have a little uh, psychic tussle with some, some military dude. Oh, 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 now there's a demon on my fucking hood. All right, yeah, fair, fair, yeah. I stand down, sir. I am a loyal U.S. citizen. I didn't attack you. Fuck you. Oh, really? Sir, clergy, my, my spiritual beliefs tell me that I can give you just as many fucking demon niggers as you can give me. Yes, sir. I will accept your surrender. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. Can you run through uh, uh, the Holy Father? Th thank you. I would, I would appreciate that since I'd like to continue talking to my friends about my squaw who uh, apparently is overwhelmingly thrilled that I'm not crazy. Yeah. You're right. Thank you. Uh, I keep getting guys driving past me to see if I'm okay. I am. Yeah. It's a pretty imaginative uh, screed of bullshit. How, many, how long have I been doing this? Oh, an hour and 12 minutes. Oh. So much good content. Uh, I still haven't decided how I'm going to pay well any of it. I don't fucking know. I'm talking about Starlink shit. I mean, am I? I mean, I, I can absolutely legally, freely put this anywhere I want. It's my voice. It's my content. I'm just as much owner of the stuff that that Anlon's talking about as he is of his, because I'm uh, not given proprietary details. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dissing him at all. I'm, I'm certainly giving him advertising of, of kind. Like, Jack Star loves Starlink. Holy shit. I'm, I'm, I'm immensely impressed with the product. Uh, I don't know like, how long it's going to be that way. And it could be that this is this, the grace period where Elon is, is talking sweetly to the satellites and giving them more attention to me because I'm clearly awesome. Uh, and so humble, too. Um, but he had to pay attention to what I was doing during the development cycle of Whatever the fuck a Neuralink chip is. I didn't know anything about it. I just heard that he's going to have uh, dudes with robo chips in their heads and he was going to fucking sell them. And I'm like, wow, dude. Do they come with a ball bearing? And I, you know, funny joke, but I didn't have time to find out because I was kind of wondering where my, uh, where my, where, uh, not where my squaw is. I'm, I'm still actually kind of amazed. I really get a squaw. And she's the last one. And the reason why she's the last one is because it's, it's incredibly offensive and, and humans are not typically able to understand the fucking concept. Like, it's my one squaw. And then she has a squaw. And I'm pretty sure I know who that is, but that's none of my business because right now there's one squaw, period. And anybody who thinks they have a squaw, they kind of do. They do because they're not in my world. But uh, I'm not making any more squaws. I didn't make that one. Grapefruit uh, was sentenced to be my squaw. Not as punishment, but because, number one, I deserve her. Number two... She deserves to be my fucking scullery bitch for what she did. And that's not a mean thing to say. Because she almost got her ass hung for treason. For doing shit that I told her not to do. And I'm not mad about it anymore. I'm relieved that that didn't actually occur. And if it did, um, well, you know, if Commander fucking hung her and watched her fucking kick her fucking feet in those little leggings and then brought her back to life seven minutes later, uh, she was his wife and... You good? Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm, uh... Doing some uh, creative writing. How what? Creative writing. Well, no, this is private property, brother. Oh, that's true. I was going to go to uh, my friend's house, and I stopped. Uh, and I don't mean to be. Sure you're okay. You got, a, you got an extension cord or something hanging in the back of your truck. Starlink. Is it actually hanging out? Yeah, it's big. Oh shit! Well, thanks, for, thanks for noticing that. I probably would have noticed that. Well, I thank you for allowing me to stand here at all, and I, I can never come here again if you like, but I, I don't No, it's just, uh, you know, parks respectfully, you know, preferably nobody's really allowed to be here, but if you're going to do it, at least park down there the way, like... Oh, I, I agree. I, yeah, I didn't actually think of it. Not in the building or in the middle of the... It does look good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I didn't think, I didn't know it was going to be here for an hour. You're good. You're good. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. You're good. This is good. That's <laughs> Where's Michael, by the way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep on there. So I, I, I've been spurging out here doing my creative writing. It does seem weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like uh, I was that, that Dale Cooper on the Twin Peaks where he's talking to Diane and he's like a total fucking nerd. Okay, well, I don't think I look any better.
and I honestly did not know I was going to be blathering my ass off for the next hour and 12 minutes, but uh, uh, my, uh, my imaginary contact with Elon says that, uh, thanks for the telemetry, dude, <laughs> and I certainly don't mind helping in the name of science. For one thing, um, okay, so let's say that Elon Musk says, I have no idea. Who's this man? Blah, 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 blah. And he wants to fucking sue me for talking shit about his product without permission. He can he can absolutely do that. Like, like, uh, Christopher Walken style. Doesn't he look like Chris Walken? Uh, he has the right to protect his brand. Just like certain people in Texas do about the uh, tryoptimum.com account, which, by the way, sir, sirs, sirs, not ma'am, sirs and sirs and sirs, you little fucking bitches, I like to point out that you did it wrong. I'm not going to complain about it, though. And I'm going to mention that, no, no, it's not uh, my brand at all. No, it's not even It's not even my favorite word anymore, you little fucking bastard fucking whore. Eat a dick, Gabe. Click. Uh, Ms. Mrs. Bullpup upset with certain uh, non-critical Texas infrastructure industries run by big fat fucks who think they fucking have a nice fucking attitude. They don't. Little bitch baby bastard. I don't give a shit how much fucking money you have that. I don't care how much fucking half leg money you ever had. What'd you do? Fucking spend it on donuts? No, you have donuts and syrup, little fuck. I'm not happy about that. Okay? It's not a big deal. Gabe is kind of giggling, if he's there at all. I don't have an imaginary Gabe Newell. Even my neurosphere is not big enough to fucking have a Gabe Newell. Alright? Uh, I'm driving now. I can't really go on about anything to this extent. It's not appropriate. So I'm gonna put the phone down, right? And say that, uh, you know, things happen. Mrs. Bullpup is in here, no, sorry. I'm just driving in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <clears throat> but yes, in fact, I am, I am rather disappointed, rather disappointed that the uh, Triactive.com uh, web portal branding thing was uh, so abruptly taken away from everybody while a whole bunch of uh, big fat fucking nerds claimed that there was plenty of time to blah, 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 blah. They're full of shit. They're fucking lying to the last off. I don't give a goddamn what they fucking said in their fucking forum. I woke up one day and it was like gone. Like, what the fuck? So then I fucking checked it out and there was like suddenly like six weeks full of fucking messages about these dudes going, Hi, I'm a big fat fucking nerd fuck number two. And how you doing, big fat nerd fuck number three? Yeah, we we know we knew each other, but we're just gonna act like we uh, we're talking back and forth over Santa days. But uh, no, I just wrote this myself. I'm the only one big fat fucking nerd. I'm the biggest fat fucking nerd in the fucking world. I'm Gabe Newell, bitch. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so we're taking this shit away, and y'all gotta fucking pretend that this is real. Literally, that's what it said. Literally, you. Okay, Gabe. I used to weigh three and three hundred pounds. Yeah, okay. You used to weigh your judgments. And apparently you didn't fucking do it very well because you took away my goddamn content out of my fucking personal account as if that belonged to you as well. And sure, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. No, I'm not saying you don't have the right. Was, was that even... I didn't know you worked at Looking Glass. I thought it was just like looking fat ass. Dude, the, the problem is you didn't need to do it at all. In any way, you could have just dropped the line and said, Hey, dude, uh, the, the, dude we're kind of concerned about the, 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 the thing. Can, can, you, can you give back and then just agree not to? Yeah, I would have said happily, fat fucking loser. I signed up on your goddamn... Is that your fucking form? I don't give a shit. You're all... Fuck off, Gabe. I don't care. I care. I'm not as I'm not as angry as you might think. Okay, you're fucking lucky too because I don't know what I would do if I were angry. Probably something stupid like fucking get involved in a legal war with you fat donating fucks. Fuck off, you Texas little bitch. That goddamn fucking brand account is yours. I'm not saying that you don't have the right to have it. Shit, no. You... You, you certainly could have confiscated it instantly and just take you, you, you could have just taken mine and they made a fucking New York goddamn full page fucking ad you fat fuck and said blah, nah, nah, nah. Jack Stern's an asshole we don't want any affiliation and I could have fucking paid for a goddamn ad myself and said fuck you okay fine I agree well I don't like your fucking game anymore never did asshole blah 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 I downloaded the shareware ha, ha, ha. yeah I did too so fuck, shut up just fuck off you leak your own fucking content you fucking Oh my god, how did this free game get in this fucking thing? Oh my god, yeah, it's for everybody. You're not supposed to download it. Oh, way, 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 way. Yeah, yeah, we're mad about it. Click. Fuck you. That was the biggest fucking side load advertising scam ever. Now listen, I don't have any problem with how you run your business, especially since you haven't put out a fucking game since fucking, I don't know, fucking 2012, bitch, my asshole. I'm not, I'm not at all violent with you. Dude, 
I'm sure your fucking rubber glue meets the fucking road. I'm not certainly threatening you in any way. I am representing myself this way because I'm legitimately steamed and hot of the collar. The main thing is so simple. And I'm not, I'm not going to, I feel a little embarrassed that I'm this fucking pissed off about it. But when I discovered what was missing, I actually genuinely started to cry, you fucking dick. Uh, YouTube playlists of music songs that I've wrote, I put together about girls that I loved in the past. Like years of them, you fucking shithead. Twelve. Oh, and, na- and and on top of that, you fucking do this fucking lie. You fucking got fucking, apparently everybody on the fucking forum to agree to lie about it. Which is remarkably impressive for a person with as much fucking charisma and fucking gravitas as you. Holy shit. Oh, Christ. Have you- Dude, there's this amazing shit. It's called meth. Have you ever fucking heard of it? Yeah, it doesn't. No, it doesn't have to make you smarter. I don't know how well it would work there, but they get. Believe me, they got the wax on fat and the wax off fat. You need the Chow Yun fat version, you little fuck bitch. Because you're a greedy asshole, grabby fucking little bitch. You fucking. It's either you. Either you've got my fucking playlists that I made while thinking about women that I like to have sex with for years. Not too many. I'm not a fucking spur lord shit. It was an invasion of a privacy that. Yeah, we'll keep even if I go into a fucking hypnotic trance and remember all those songs and put it back together. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you, like, for a good long fucking time. Oh, fuck yeah, I'll put this on YouTube and then it'll... Oh, am I, am I hurting your brand? Your fat-ass little bitch fuck? Grabbing little shit fuck? I'm probably not gonna... I'm pro- Yeah, I'm probably not gonna fucking worry about it. You, why am I gonna interfere with Half-Life 3? The gender years? You... Ugh. I just, it just astonishes me that it never occurred to you. That it never occurred to you that, yeah, it was bait. Duh. But I didn't fucking get it for bait. I fucking got it because it was my fucking birthday. And fucking somebody told me, hey, get this. I'm like, okay. You want to talk to him, you fucking shitbag? He's an NSA official. No slight attitude. Fucking arrogant bitch baby fuck. Uh, I don't know if he's still my friend, but I certainly know him. And I, I believe I believe more people than just you and I. You son of a bitch. I'm fucking... Don't get fucked with me. I don't give a shit where you're fucking born. Remember your fat ass Alamo for all I fucking care. Yeah, it's kind of funny, but I'm still... I've been generally seen about this for a while. I, I fucking get thrown in jail for no apparent reason. And rather than rather than fucking somebody at the forum saying, Hey, uh, guess what? There's a little funny quirk here. I mean, yeah, I figured it out. Sure, but I... I uh, listen, Texas nigger daddy, I don't care what the fuck you think. Do you have a constitution there? Yeah, you do. It's mine, too. Yeah. Well, you would have lost the fucking thing as well as your whole fucking state if it hadn't been for me and people like me. People who fucking work for free, you stupid shit. Oh, fuck your money. I don't give a shit how much fucking money you could have lost. I don't... I'm, fuck, dude, I don't give a fuck how much money you fucking pay for fucking diapers every fucking day. You were rude and abusive and you did it because you thought you needed to fucking drive the point home because you're a big fucking man on the goddamn billboard. I'm not a fucking vengeful man. No, I just made it real difficult for you to get laid for the next fucking 20 years, you shithead. I'm not gonna... No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. It was impossible for you to get laid before, you fucking fat fuck. Now, it's merely really difficult. Well, obviously, I respect you to some extent, or I fucking probably would fucking just have you killed. It's fucking Texas. How fucking hard gonna be? Oh Christ! What a fucking dude! No, don't, don't, don't backpedal. I don't care. Nobody can hear you. I'm busy driving in the fucking rain in the dark, and there's fucking guys behind me fucking with headlights. It's not exactly legal. You're a fucking rude little arrogant bitch, baby bastard, bitch boy. I just met. I just missed my fucking turn. I. I'm not. I don't wish any ill will upon you at all. In fact, I, I hope that I hope the situation gets resolved peacefully and cal- calmly. But I guarantee you, there's no fucking way. You're not that fucking stupid. You're never gonna fucking give me back that shit that got deleted, supposedly. Now, fuck you. The fucking shit's in the fuck. It's in a fucking NSA hopper, you dumbass. It's not. Oh, you tried everything you could, and all this. Oh, too bad we couldn't get it. It just happened too fast. Fuck you. You are such a lying piece of shit. Fuck. Beca- no. Fuck off. Gabe Newell are a little fucking lying little fuck. Yeah, you really are a lying fucking fuck. You have no fucking reason to be that fucking rude. I never did anything to you. I never had any intention to fucking damage your fucking brand. You're fucking lucky I fucking know how to spell your fucking name. Newell. Jesus fucking Christ. Gabriel. Yeah, 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 I know who you are, Gabby. Fucking, you want me to fucking bring back Dusty in a portal for you? Oh. 
Sam and my case, you bitch click. Bye. Fucking oh Christ. Uh, I'm not gonna apologize because that that was that was authentic. But I like that. As they say, that escalated quickly. Uh, I've never met Gabe Newell. Gabe Newell. Why? Well, Kill Creek put on a lot of weight. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I don't know him that well. I'm not, oddly enough, working in the um, computer games programming industry in any capacity whatsoever. So I don't really think I don't really I don't really give a shit, fucker. I'm, I'm sorry. Get yeah no Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I'm doing an apology. Yeah, it's pretty cool that I can fucking hack your fucking computer from my fucking brain, but I'm pretty sure Elon helped. And once again, you had no reason to do that. I you know I wouldn't I certainly wouldn't mind having it back. Uh, if you were able to do anything, you could have done so by now. And if you were trying to, if you were trying to send a message, you did. It was that you don't give two shits about me as a human being, and you thought I was some spurgy little dick that you needed to treat like bad trash. And you did. And then you sat there and you fucking laughed at me while I was fucking homeless, confused, and miserable while people fucking fucked my friends, which admittedly were karmic ghosts, but still, and it didn't feel good at all. And there was the point is, dude, I didn't deserve it from you. It was a, it was a nasty situation that got nastier. Largely because you sat in your fat ass and thought that I deserved to have a lesson taught to me. That's the problem with Texas, bitch. What? Fucking teach it to fucking Corpus Christi and start from the ground up. I don't give... Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not your fucking daddy. I don't want to be involved with you in that way. No, I, I don't need to fucking play Duke Nukem. Fuck off. Dude, I don't want a free copy of your home game. What's that? Donut, donut meat hole? I'll, I'll, maybe we'll be friends, but it'll take a fucking long ass time, you Oh, it's so stupid. How did you not see that coming? Oh, 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 well, yeah, you taught me a lesson. I'm not going to teach you any lessons. Fucking, oh, Christ, grow a dick and fucking build a pair, you asshole. God, click on him. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not at all that mad. Well, I, I kind of am, actually. I, like, it's just so rude. The way, the way these fucking stupid fucking Texas bullies are. It's a whole culture with them. And he's, he's this big fat fuck with hundreds of millions of dollars. Which I admire, although I did think the whole fucking Half Life thing was kind of stupid in many ways. But I don't, I didn't know much about it. I didn't complain about it. I deliberately uh, copied the serial number from a from a <laughs> CD-ROM version of Half Life that I found on the shelf at I think uh, you, Half Price Books in Bellevue, and the, the the CD's on the shelf and it's in the used software section, and and, and you can see the software key code on the back of it so I fucking I, want, I just want to see what happened and, it, and if that was the case if that's him think that I need a lesson taught to me I respect that okay nevertheless that was also bait I, 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 I guess I guess at this point we can conclude that the only bait this man recognizes as, as such is uh, stuff with uh, donut holes in it did, did I need to put sprinkles on it no it's just it's just rude it's just rude it was just rude Here's the reason why it was rude. You never had a girlfriend in your life, have you? Uh-huh. Well, it really was regrettable. I don't expect to ever be mad. Well, I'm not exactly... Jesus, you're lonely, aren't you? Okay, well, I got I got stuff to do. I do. And, and I don't want to... Just, I do have an extremely emotional reaction to women that I've loved that are dead now, you fuck. Mom, will you click his ass? Oh. Uh, really? Oh. Computer upgrade limb duel. Oh my god, really? Grand Arctic limb duel. Fuck. <laughs> okay, bye, mom. Uh, uh, Gabe. Uh, yeah, you're fucked. Click. Okay, so I'm the Grand Arch Lake Duke or whatever, whatever, whatever fucking mom wanted. She got, and that guy. Uh, he didn't understand. He didn't understand that uh, he didn't have to feel jealous. He he could be cool like me. You know how I start. You know how I got started being this cool. I was polite and served God humbly which uh, I guess might sound like bullshit to some especially to some atheist bully rich boy little piece of shit fuck like I'm sure he has a miserable life I mean he, what is he, he's too sad to fucking work on Half-Life 3 like what the fuck is the hold up dude really oh oh he says the angelic forces took away his access to the story wow I'm a suck wow did, did Bill Gates oh well, no kidding wow okay so he he saved his shit in the angelic cloud which I guess is a thing I'm not saying he's I'm, he whoever the fuck Gabe Newell is obviously he's a talented man uh, sincerely which is why I, I never took away his uh, stuff I didn't I didn't play that game excessively I want to know what would happen and then when I saw that that trioptimum.com branding account existed uh, what I do I uh, 
I thought, hey, cool, yeah, thanks. And I made jacket. I was kind of annoyed I couldn't have jacket com. I don't want Jack on X right now, but uh, see, I see. I'm generally sorry about the way I did that. I, I totally didn't mean to, and then I apologized. <laughs> while giggling as soon as I noticed, Gabe Newell did not. Yeah, I I don't know why I'm saying Gabe Newell. Gee, how do I know this? How do I know that it's her who did it? Well, I'll call it a big fucking clando hunch. Uh, the point is, is that he was mean to me in a way because he was jealous of. Maybe he was. I'm not. I'm not tapping into Gabe Newell's brain. It's, it's impolite. Uh, just because he, just because I can read him like a fucking transparent, big fat bag of donuts doesn't mean I can fucking you know invade his privacy. Like, dude, yeah, like no, and and then he made the, the whole fucking trioptim.com branding account thing, Google TTLG forums, sir. Yeah, that was all bait from them too. They wanted to get, they wanted people to put their content there so they could so they could deliberately take it because that's what that's what Texans are—a bunch of fucking content thieves. They steal women, they steal donuts. Uh, I'll. I'll where the fuck is Chelsea? I'd like her. Uh, she can be in. She can be in my jazzercise club. I I had to slam the door on her so she wouldn't keep on thinking about me. Yeah, that worked out real well. Uh, I'm too fat. To, I'm too fat to be. I'm too fat to be seen. Okay, I, I weigh. I weigh way less than Gabe, but fuck that nigga's too fat to be heard. And uh, when I met Chelsea, it was in uh, uh, Missouri, but she had lived in Texas, and she told me when I met her, she was like. I kept hearing about you playing with my older brother and you were like this godlike figure that my older brother was fascinated by and since then I've been you know she didn't come out and spurg on me like uh, that one girl in the suburbanites but uh, uh, my, my friend's sister Chelsea is hot yeah she's like Jeanette Bond okay and like, if I was anywhere near her league I would I would generally like say hey let's go to dinner do you, you have a teleporting car let's go she probably does she's that fucking cool so I, I got a few friends and I, I, I hope that she respects the fact that I, I, I don't I don't pleasure myself while thinking about my friend's sister because my, my friend would, would kill me, especially if I started talking about it openly on YouTube. Oh, bah, 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 bah. yeah, she would love it. And my friend, uh, he, he would he would arrange to have me fucking beaten to fucking death because he's like, OK, you're a fucking paladin. Huh? Let's see you come back to life. I mean, I would, but it's she's not worth dying like that for. It's disrespectful. And I don't need to I don't need to pleasure myself to. Oh shit! No, I, I can just talk. Everything I just said is pleasurable to her. See, I've reciprocated the story that she told me. I had no idea. This fucking salty little Texas bitch. He uh, uh, he thought it'd be cool to invite me to his wedding. Fair. It was cool. Yeah, I, I love the man. I don't get to hang out with him very often. Not because he's a, not because he has the hottest sister in the world. Oh, I've never seen a little sister that hot. Oh my god! And then uh, the the combination of attain- unattainability along with eh, work for it along with. Uh, sh- Dude, don't even look at her. You're so disgusting. Uh, all this mismatch together. And he didn't even tell me that she existed, which I thought was fucking rude because she is beautiful. And he didn't even t- say, hey, come on out here to my wedding and then uh, I'll let you meet my sister. She's uh, she's so beautiful that she's not allowed to be seen in public unless there's armed guards around because she's been known to uh, call down hordes of purple niggers from the trees to come rape her and then scoots away in a fast car with, with the Penelope. Yeah, she's really just objectively super ass hot I don't know if she has magic on top but ah yeah and she's cool right and she figured out uh, what I did I guess did you oh really yeah I know it broke my heart too I figured quick I figured quick clean break or I was gonna spurg out and be an idiot like now years ago I didn't think I'd ever be in your league oh see yeah see yeah okay okay would you can you turn to an angel of death and fucking give that fucker a donut attack all right thanks okay thank you I, I love you too i do i love him too he's all right yeah and, and that woman is um oh i'm not i'm not gonna say that she doesn't hold a candle she's she she's lovely um uh the second most beautiful blonde i know yeah probably just because i haven't seen you naked ever haven't even imagined it go away oh my god you're hard oh wow Whew. Oh, that woman could have a dick and I'd be happy to suck it in front of her brother, but uh, only if she asked and he owed her a favor or something. Because you know how you know how people are with their sisters; they get they get kind of defensive. And there's some salty clando fucking fat fuck assholes in uh, my neck of the woods. Uh, they have sisters. No, they have they have daughters. And I've heard I've heard this phrase spoken to me: "Stay away from my daughter." At much louder volume, much more forcefully. 
from big fist swinging fat fuck guys and they fucking mean it like they they think probably still do but at the time they definitely thought I was a nigger they didn't want me knocking up their fucking daughters and uh, every every fucking woman in the town thinks I'm cool I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not bad you know and then definitely even if I am a disgusting salty nigger if <laughs> uh, there's nothing there's nothing a little girl wants more than uh, than her dad to be enraged at the man who knocked her up and gave her a baby and she doesn't have to work for the rest of her life because she can take money from both of them and then she can run her dad around like a like a Christmas tree robot and and music to her ears is 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 uh, her her father yelling at Jack Star about how he didn't want his goddamn banana mulatto baby from her his daughter's uh, ruined loins and uh, oh god this one chick she's I'm she was beautiful oh my god and she was like kind of she seemed kind of like she had downs maybe she did I didn't care fuck she was wholly gorgeous and and she was the kind of gorgeous that Nobody else really like because she was like keeping on the deal. Maybe she was using magic. Maybe she didn't have actual downs. I didn't care. I looked at her one look and I could tell we were already in love. And there ain't no fucking way I was gonna. I would no way I would touch any man's daughter without permission or invitation. I could tell already that there was gonna be a, a, a negative given that he was uh, checking me over other rings. And he wasn't. He was. He wasn't examining me to find out if I was gonna be his grandson progenitor. Oh no 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 no. He did not look at me as son-in-law material. I'm not an idiot. I knew that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so where was I? Oh, my God, my friend's sister. She, yeah, she was beautiful. Unbelievably beautiful. She made me feel insignificant and pale and that I didn't belong on the surface of the earth. And yet I did. Yeah, so it's weird. I was just kind of a fucked off fat mess. I hadn't, I hadn't had nose surgery yet. And I didn't have very good clothes. And I had a suit that was like f- full polyester and not, uh, not a tacky one, but... Um, well, I wasn't planning to go there and, and get laid, and I, I certainly never would have had a, a cheap fling with, with my friend's sister. I, I don't think anybody would, unless they were, I don't know, uh, I don't know. But it wasn't on offer? Oh, no, no, no. And uh, there, was no, there was no possible way I would do that, even if asked. They would, hey, Jack, who, come here and fuck my sister while I get married. Like, no, they, it's not that kind of family. And while I do say things like, fuck you, Texas, but uh, not often, I don't... Um, I don't. I don't have any hatred in my heart for Texas. Uh, it's just a certain a certain aspect of the culture where they're where they're like to the fucking bully kids and and get away with it because they're big fat fuck asshole gang members and shit. Like I, it's, I don't I don't hold with that kind of thing. I don't like bullies. I don't like people who take and think. Oh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this to you because I think you deserve it and you need to fucking learn. You need to learn, white boy. Boy. Oh god, I fucking hate that attitude. I do because um, number one. That's not the way to teach a child or even an old man, right? And then number two, these Texas fucking stupid ex-clan fucking jingoist bitches, they, uh, they, have to, they have to get in the gang and use subterfuge to teach lessons to people that they think are hard to teach. You can't teach a nigger nothing. Like, what? No, no, no. It's not, that, it's not that hard, actually, to teach anybody anything if you know how to teach and you're fairly intelligent and you're not big fat fucking lazy little bitch asshole which I would say uh, at one point Gabe Newell was definitely qualified as because uh, this rather than fucking send me an email and say hey dude we got an issue can we resolve it instead of that he didn't care he figures I'm just some stupid idiot fucking drug addict junkie fuck I'm not duh he didn't know that No, nobody told Gabe that I'm a super genius right super genius I don't work in his industry because his industry is uh, the entertainment industry and I've I've had issues with people who work in that industry before because I don't um, I don't possess the capacity to worry about pedophilia because I'm not one don't care about being one have been called one and suspected as much of being that a long, long goddamn time way too long and in, in no way do I have any I don't I didn't like children when I was a child and so I, I could not work effectively in the industry in its current state because uh, the whole thing is controlled from the top down by these secret uh, oaths and shit that involve sex with underage children. Which, to be fair, uh, I don't think 16 is underage. If I were in California, it would be. And here I am in Washington State. I'm 50 years old. I don't care if I'm 5,000 years old. If a 16-year-old hits on me, I'm going to tap that 16-year-old ass. And, and the reason why is Reggie Hammond. It's not a big deal. To me, I'm not going to crow about it because that's 
that's a little fucking creepy actually a lot and if I'm um, out and about looking for free poon uh, something will have been disastrously terrible happening in my life because I, I don't need to look for free poon I have I, squaw squaw's like why would why 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 not with running me yeah she's 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 six at the moment her, her species ages differently and then uh, squaw is new uh, previous squaw died and um, uh, she she didn't really die but the, but the tripartite being uh, um, the spirit the mind and the spirit went to the next level and the body was left behind and it, it expired and that was that was the one I was married I am married to and I, I loved I, I love that body I do I still love it and she and she's dead still and when she comes uh when she comes she'll be um <clears throat> yeah she, I mean she's not dead dead because uh we, we, nobody ever dies but the, uh her body is uh, generally uh regenerating in a way that's different from humanity because she's uh she's sort of human she's a uh, I don't I want to talk too much shit about grapefruit because she's a uh, she's in awe that I'm more impressed with her than than uh, my friend's sister she was kind of like freaking out because I'm talking about another woman in tones that imply I think she's incredibly gorgeous fuck yeah she is uh, oh yeah well great they're, they're, they're in similar leagues and I I would certainly um, I would certainly introduce them to each other I have not of course yet because I didn't want them to know that I'd likely never see them either again and then I've had bad luck in the past uh, introducing women to each other and then disappearing sometimes they haven't gotten the message which is uh uh, I don't know which you two is the bigger asshole. So once you find out who needs to die, uh, kill the other and then call me so I can find out if you're the sexy or the... Yeah, uh, women don't like to be used that way, I've discovered. I found this out because I introduced two women to each other by casually, um, silently introducing them to each other at a house that was going to have a party before the party got started. And then I said, hey, hey, you should two should meet. And then I just walked away. I never saw him again for 20 years. I was a little salty about something that has been since mostly resolved, but that's not the best way to get that done. Turns out women, turns out women don't like to have uh, situations sprung on them where they're like, "Oh, um, I don't know what to say," and that, that he, I didn't even ask him if they had met Ted. All right, so uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to do that again because it's not that's not super cool. Uh, neither were those women to me um, in ways that I was too young to articulate and don't care now to talk about <sighs> and both of them were are as pretty as uh, Chelsea I don't really like Chelsea's name I would have to give her another name before I uh, slipped anything into her like um, mm, oh god Gazebox Gazebox that's your name you're welcome I, you tell him okay yeah, Okay. so that's my friend uh, it's a little awkward having a friend that's that fucking hot except she thinks I'm like hotter than she is which well I do probably clean up well but I haven't cleaned up yet I'm around screaming at Gabe Newell about my fucking goddamn fucking trapped him dot com account uh, it's just it's just lo low class to have to fucking lie like that and to go to all the effort of, of making fake fucking posts about how oh blah, 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 blah. oh it's too bad we'll try this try this like fake post fake post going back like three three months post dated or predated post dated Oh yeah, we totally had this organic conversation. The fuck you did, you fuckers! And it makes me mad because I I think I know who uh, administers that board, and I don't go to that board often because I'm not really a part of the culture of people who go to work and play video games. Um, my life my life is better than a video game, and uh, I'm a workaholic, so I don't go to work. I just I don't, I don't really get paid except in the adulations of incredibly beautiful women that are the sisters of my friends. Who oh Christ, I'd push them off a cliff in exchange for her pussy. Oh my God. Yeah, he's, he's nice. I don't care. He could be a spirit. And 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 yeah, and he didn't tell me that there was like, going to be a sister there at all. I had no preparation. I just like sit down and he's like, hey, this is my sister. And I'm like, G -g 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 yeah, he, he did. He did it on purpose. He wanted to he wanted to fucking do something. I don't know what, but he made a he made me make her a lifelong friend because um, it's not it's not like she's so beautiful that I would die for her. No, she's genuinely nice, and I really appreciate and admire the way she handled the situation herself. Um, I, I, and it turns out he did. He, he's, he's desperately trying to apologize. Just save her for save her for San Antonio, boy, boy. Um, she, apparently, she likes the way I talk shit to his sister, to her, her, her to her brother. Um, where was I? I don't fucking know. I'm. Uh, I don't mean to be spurging out too much. I'm still a little bit hacked off about the whole uh, Gabe thing. 
um, because there was no, there's just no reason to make me feel bad, and it could have been handled differently. And all those, all those poor people didn't have to be treated like ass, except they did it that way so they could steal everything, not just mine, and that's insulting. And they did, and they did it when they did because reasons. Uh, mysteriously, right after I got arrested for nothing, and you know, Gabe, that's just a criminal conspiracy a little too far, and I'm not going to report you to the fucking homeland because I'm sure they know all about your bitch ass. You'll fuck you are homeland. Yeah, and uh, look, I'm not saying you shouldn't have done it. I'm saying. At least in my case, um, number one, I don't know who the fuck it was who made that post that implied I, w- I had nothing to complain about. You had ample time. Uh huh. Yeah, f- fucking make your fist walk in my face, man. What a dick. What? A th- oh, I just don't like. I just don't like the bullying. Oh, and you think that's a good way to run a state? Uh, no wonder it's fucking Lone Star down there. Oh, jeez, you're fucking obnoxious. Wow. See, okay, so that's Gabe. I never want to fucking talk to you again, Gabe. Get the fuck out. Um, Gaze box. She's really nice. She was really polite. She she had the same, the same bullying Texas attitude, which yeah, it's it's powerful. Uh, go Alamo for sure. Being born on, the, on, the, on Cinco de Mayo, I don't feel too bad about not remembering my Alamo all the time, because at least I remember what the fucking Cinco de Mayo thing is about. Oh, she says that's one of the hottest things about me. Really? Wow. Jesus, she's nice, uh, sweetie. Yeah. Um, you don't have to. You don't. You, you don't have to try so hard. You, you are in, if, if uh, everybody else agrees. But um, they're they're gonna want you. Oh, is that why you're being nice to me? God, what a what a mercenary bitch! I love it. And see, that's a woman I can say is a mercenary bitch, and she doesn't be like, "How dare you call me bitch?" I hate that attitude. I mean, it's a word. Oh my God, he said words. Words, not words. Don't say words. They hurt my feelings. She apparently does not feel that way, which is fine. Uh, I would. Jesus, anybody, anybody who fucking sits next to her for 10 minutes would be uh, immensely privileged to hang out with my, my, my dear friend Gaze Bows. Gaze Box. Well, Gaze Bows, if, Gaze Bows, if you have a gay, of course, of course she's gay. Jesus, Lord. Um, um, well, why, would, why would she be gay? Well, well, my understanding is that the... Uh, uh, Texas uh, lesbo scene is, is quite different than I might imagine. And since I am not in Texas, nor do I have any plans to go down to that fucking shitbag fucking state and see anybody at all, <sighs> I would feel bad that I'd go to the great state and I'd have only two things to do. Um, oh, shit. Uh, be an idiot. Kelso Airsoft Field. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Gaze Box? Thank you. I don't have the capacity to think clearly after... Um, thinking about you very much at all it, it's not so much that you're that I'm that spurgy it's that I've, I'm, I've been alone way too long and uh, today I just recently thought about how um, oh yeah she's definitely alive because she's uh, on another planet and she says oh my god get her get her and like like you're a pair of shoes <laughs> she's, she's fairly young and I'm sure if I see her anytime at all she will be of, of legal age when I see her because she's a time traveling star traveling um Mermaid Kitty from the PAs, which I know sounds kind of nonsensical, but uh, yeah, Chelsea, if you'd like to, if you'd like to hang out with her, with, I would be happy to loan you Squaw. Oh yes, yeah, I can loan you Squaw. Oh my God, I could make her your, I could make her your chattel-born bitch, and she would want that. Yeah, she doesn't want to be my Squaw the whole time, and then that's like her part-time gig. Right? And the reason why she was selected for this is because she is adored by everyone. Like this woman, it's like. 19,500 sisters that have been alive with her for like she's she's the, the top of the crop and that, that's my great fruit <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty happy about it especially since I in fact am the, am the dude who saved her life somebody wanted to kill her you can see why or, or take her for themselves you can see why and they, they failed ultimately to achieve this goal because I'm a badass and I sacrificed uh, not life and limb but no small amount of fucking change, change right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm in, I'm in all in, not all in. I got some money left, but I, I do have less than I did before, and that's fine. Because I also have, I also have a fucking haunted church that's on military jurisdiction, consecrated, hollowed, and spurred off land that allows me to fucking talk to Elon Musk through Starlink, even when it's turned off. So I, I do have a few things going for me. <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea says that's more than just a little impressive. And I said, yeah, so maybe she's, uh, in addition to being super hot, maybe she can talk to, like, real, um, real, real scientists 
who aren't high as balls. Hi, Emo. Yeah, I'm, I'm high. So what? You just jelly. You so jelly. Eh. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will mention that. Jesus, he's a lord. He wants to me. He wants to be sure to mention to everybody that the most impressive thing about what I'm doing is that I'm. I really am uh, not addicted. And he prays to God every night that I remain that way, so that uh, not not just because he wants me to, you know, tell him how, but <laughs> so that I don't hurt myself. Because methamphetamine addiction, I, I've I've seen. Uh, yeah, it's, it can get bad. It can get bad. It is bad. Oh, and yeah, I, uh, that's why I spent years trying to figure out how to way around it, and then I did. So, all of you had time to make yourselves immune to addiction as well. I'm not saying that I'm special. I'm pointing out that I am special. And uh, wouldn't you like to be special too? <laughs> oh, you're all special. It's just Chelsea and I are special than you, all of you. Yeah, because we're polite, we're urbane, we're witty. And um, she believes she believes every word I say when I say that I clean up well, and I'm, I'm intentionally not worried about it so much because I got I got stuff to do that don't involve uh, beating them off with a stick. And she says I look fine enough anyway. Oh wow, that's the kind of compliment I like to hear because it's completely made up in my head. I I do suspect that um, uh, she's 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 pretty she's pretty um hmm uh, uh hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Exceptionally gifted and talented and has put those gifts and talents to an immense amount of good and work in her life. Well-balanced, well-rounded. I wasn't just referring to her uh, booty. I cannot say which one's more attractive. I'll have to see them humping each other uh, together, which I'm sure they would love to do because uh, given, given that uh, Grapefruit isn't here at all and she's off, She's off in some Spurg world. Oh, fuck. I'm, yeah, I don't know when they'll, they'll ever meet, but I, I can certainly promise both of them that when uh, Grapefruit and, and Gazebos, Gazebox, when Gazebox and, and Grapefruit meet, I will, I will certainly provide a, a better introduction than my friend did to his sister, which I think is fine. He says, yes, uh, getting back to that. He said that he did it that way to give her an advantage because she felt nervous which I think is a very adorable thing for a big brother to do. Nevertheless, he was a little, he was a little harsh on, on Jackstar. A little bit, because he didn't really think too much of me at all. Uh, now, now apparently he's much more impressed. Uh, I guess uh, talking mad shit to South Africa for free is fairly impressive. With my brain box. Ah! Okay, I gotta put this thing down because I'm driving. Ah, that's no, dark. Thank you. I, I do admire you greatly. That, thank you. I'm driving. It's not fair to say that you want me to fucking talk to you. Well, yeah. Okay, sure. Well, I want I want that too. It's dark and rainy and I'm not really in a position to be able to afford driving off the road. And there's a guy behind me who's kind of annoyed that I'm going so slow. I don't want to piss anybody off. Yeah. It's dark. It's stormy. I, it's thankfully not something I can uh, worry about at the moment. I have never seen you naked and have not thought about it, so I'm good. Uh, holy shit, I'm right here. Oh, fuck, Christ. there we go. This place, these people who drive up behind me and, and sit and... Thank you, thank you. No, I'm safe, I'm just uh, making sure that I'm safe. I don't usually uh, drive in the hills in the night, and this is a... Okay, so, um, one, two, three, at least, at least four women, perhaps, on a, on a spiritual level, are currently, oh, five, okay, at least five women, think I'm cool, have a reasonably good idea what I look like, uh, about half like the beard, half don't, and then I'd be happy to, I've got a pair of clippers on me to fucking shave it, I could whip out the, uh, clippers and plug them into my universal or uninterruptible power supply and I could fuck I clip my hair off while I'm driving and I could leave still I don't ha I do have razors I'm not exactly homeless because the you're world back is my online home. you should reach your destination <laughs> by 2049 here's another car behind me fuck it's like I'm getting checked on by every uh, person who lives around here to make sure I'm not driving like a crazy idiot which makes sense um, I'm not uh, overly 
they, they, they made this stuff to fucking fly airplanes on, like jet engines. And I'm being careful. And I'm not, I'm not talking to another person. I'm speaking to myself. That's actually allowable. I'm, it's hands-free, whatever. Uh, I don't know where exactly I'm going, but it's dark. Uh, this is part of the world where uh, dudes are like, hey, what, what's this guy doing? And then not everybody knows how awesome I am yet. Because uh, I'm really not all that awesome. Plenty of awesome people live out here. I have not... Well, I'll have more flexibility on proclaiming my awesomeness at all once I'm exonerated at trial. Which may, may in fact be a, a, a possibly a dimly certain proposition given that I... For uh, diplomatic purposes, I may wish to uh, I may wish to have a uh, felony charge of any kind on my record at all, so that I can proudly say that I am a felon. I won't have to go to the tedious trouble of fucking voting anymore, right? And then uh, I can hang out with uh, certain key select members of certain communities who are fucking felons. I can go to felon bars. I can be known as a fucking felon, which I don't necessarily need to do. But, uh, it is something that. Uh, it's kind of hard to you know, it's kind of hard to arrange to get a felony on purpose, right? It's in fact actually, I believe it is in fact illegal, and I think that many people who are in the felony world, it's not it's not cool. No, uh, it is something that a person can do, and because it's not cool and it's difficult and it sucks, uh, yeah, it, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be any walk in the park, and I'm not saying I want to be. Somebody wants me to be. See. Somebody says, Jack, you know, you're, we think you're cool. We can help you a lot, but you got to be a felon. So sign this paper and you're going to get a charge of uh, uh, assault three because um, I, I personally, I'm, I may deserve, I may deserve assault too. I'm not sure. I, haven't, I don't know the, I don't know how these things are calculated. I don't wish to. I'm not, uh, I'm not like a legal beagle, uh, but let's say I wanted to become a lawyer ever. Let's say I wanted to become a prosecutor. I sure as shit don't. What a fucking job that must be. Um, if I did want to be a prosecutor, I could not be a felon, right? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, no, I would be... Um, I would be a different kind of prosecutor where my felony would be not expunged, but it would be on, uh, on the DL. And then they would make me a, a, a puny prosecutor who was, who was also capable of doing stuff other, right? I don't, I don't want to work in the legal thing. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. Besides, uh, continue to be friends with my friend Chelsea and not to have her brother ever kill me. Because if, if I disrespected her, he would. She's really nice. Okay. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, Gabe, yeah, by the way, don't, don't, don't lie like that. It's fucking rude. <sighs> Bye. All here. Gone for a long time. You don't think about it for weeks. You don't think about it for weeks. No, 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 don't, 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 don't act like that. We're gonna be in your schizo head. No, I'm, you don't. You don't understand. You've been given a lot of time to behave yourselves how you like. I, I was Wait, not two aware. Years, two years, Jack Two years. Dude, when did when did Dark Matter start? What? When did Dark Matter start? Okay, listen. There's more. I'm sick of your antics. I'm you sick of your antics. I'm a beach person, Jack Star. When you call those. Listen, I'm not here for my own sake. I was kind of curious what the fuck was going on. And after a while, it became apparent what the fuck was going to happen. Anything that, I want to know why you think this is going to be very, very official. You're not harming me. You're not stalking me. You're not having We're just listening to you. All I need to do is listen to you. Good. You're an idiot. When Jack stop talking. We're not feds. We just like to be like you're. Yeah, when Jack stop talking. I, I don't. I don't care that you like me. The fact is that you're not doing anything beneficial for me. I don't care about my privacy. Everybody listens to me. I'm going to show you a little rock, you kid. I don't, care. I don't care. You've come to my life, you've been pre you've been predators, you haven't done a very good job. I didn't really try very hard to stop it from happening. I was kinda wondering what the fuck was going on. And to find that, that somebody's gonna sneak in and steal everything. I mean, wow, was that was that a girl's idea or was that your idea and then you're gonna use her? Listen, I don't have to I don't have to be vulnerable to you. Like like going off this guy who earned so I don't have to be vulnerable. It's okay, me and Jackson have known each other for a while. We're friends. At the moment, no. God, this is stupid. Like seriously, you have, it's, it's the mind of a toddler. I love you, bro. I love you. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I don't it's care. It's not like the mind of a toddler. I don't. I don't care whether you care that I love you. I, I still love you. Kila, Kila, what are you doing there?
Why are you with these? Yo. Is that Ben? What? Jackson? Isn't that Keeler? I think that might be Ben. Are you Keeler? That might be Ben. Hi. Are you yes, Keeler? Yes. Look, look, I don't, I don't like this dream. It's not fun for me. I don't have any resources. Okay, or okay then leave. Like, like what? Well, what I'm saying is that you should probably have taken advantage no, of No, you're that. addicted to us. You're done. You're addicted. You love us. You know you love us. Did you just break everything? Am I tripping? <laughs> Yeah, you really did break everything. Like, like there's this, there's a there's a, <laughs> a sheen of newness that you obviously didn't appreciate. Bro, it's so you obviously didn't appreciate it at all. Like I don't know why you don't appreciate it. Guys, 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 I'm gone. I just want to say goodbye. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat some stuff. All right, guys. Goodbye. I'm sorry. See you. Man. See you. God bless. Hey, Jackson, we really need to discuss this shit. We can't be missing court, bro. You're gonna look even more guilty, man. I don't like guilty at all. You're a duck. There's a lot of f f funny little piggies. Gang of funny little piggies that want you dead. Facts. No I don't care. They know your location too. Oh. They, counter they countered you. I don't care. Dude, what do you care about? You don't care, but when you're dead, you will. <clears throat> Been dead, you idiot. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about? I like that, Jackson, but you still like Jesus. What I'm saying is, is that you're an embarrassment to my brand. I have no way of describing how it is I speak. Are you a Muslim? Also, you don't have a brand, it's like five people. You just think they're all like different. Fair. Yeah, fair. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Dude, there's no reason. You know why they like you? Because how stupid you sound. Yeah. It's more famous in this town than our life, though. For other reasons. Go to LA, man. You go, you go crazy in LA. I've been to LA. Don't really no, no, like stay there, reside there. Like, you can't sell your soul next to the devil. Go to Sin City. I feel like he already did, man. He's got so much. If you on camera, they don't take you more serious. Bad. You're fucking guilty right now. Because, like, is this a little boy or an old man? I can't tell. Yeah, when you kill, when you confirmation, you're guilty. This is a bot fleet. You're being annoying. <laughs> I'm engaging in the. No, 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 Dude, 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 dude. You can't lose that yet. Dude, do you understand? In two years, you've been ample time to realize what's happening. I know what's happening. You're trying to set me up for engagement and involvement in a bunch of stuff. You're dangerous. Right You're a dangerous man with dangerous thoughts and dangerous ideas. Yo. I'm only dangerous to you because you can't possibly get past me. I don't think you're dangerous to me. Everybody yeah, knows. You just can't just see the end of the world. Why would you be here? I'm not seeing you on my shoulders. You're nothing. You were planning to flicking you like a fly. He's too scared he to fucking to married to somebody I went to high school with and chased her down, and then he fucking chased somebody down that I was fucking, fucking be meeting at a fucking pet food store. Everybody, Jackson. What do you think well, of you should go to that house? You should, go to the, you should go to that house. Why? Jackson, what do you think of the chimpanzee? I don't There's something there for you. I don't care. There's a 12 game. Yeah. Dude, uh, you know that I can have you see the photo thing of that chimpanzee? Because those things happen. I don't need to join you. Did you see the word of chimpanzee? No, I don't. I don't understand why. I sent it to you on Telegram. I don't give a shit. She's 16 and you love her and you do everything. 16 years old, Ben Cooper's girl. You're, you're, you're a complete idiot. You don't understand what you're doing here. <laughs> you love 16 year olds. You love them. Dude, why are you bothering me? <laughs> why, why, why are you breaking the law? Like, if you're gonna break, if you're gonna outlaw, do something cool. Like, fucking trying to. No, you break the law. You break the law. A law and a law is the same thing. Crazy. A law and a law. Oh, so wait. Yeah. Oh, is, 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 is it actually an Islam thing? Because I, I, I have sort of law. I just simply don't mind. You're one beaten if you had with a, no soul. You're just, you're just oh, skin you're and stitches. You don't even understand your own religion, so that even if it is your religion. Exactly. Yeah. I've, I've served God. What's, what's, yeah. our, what's, what's our religion? What's our religion? You just said you were Islam. Islam. No, no, we're not, we're not, we're not. No, he's a Muslim. No, 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 no. I'm not. He's a Muslim. Then over there is a Muslim. You're all completely disingenuous. You're being okay, what's your religion? fucking investigators as we no, speak. What's your religion? It's not like what's your religion? Not, we're not about. being okay. Everyone's being watched, but that doesn't make us different. Yeah, yeah. Right here. No, what makes you different is that you're obviously sick and on every hour. I'm peaching. Poor rollhead ass boy. Yo, you're a beach boy. You don't understand that there's a special circle. You're a beach person. I think you reside at the beach. I think you like. Yeah. I think you own all the water. Everything you think you own, I own because we're the same person. Yo, I'm gonna kill myself so that it ends for you. Fucking cunt. 
Zerf is the HDL for shit. Now we can go to court. Okay. Worship the golden cat. Okay, let's fucking well. do it. Well, I will well. sue your ass to the fucking ground. It'll be a fucking 20. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Dude, you don't have anything to stand on. You're obnoxious. Shut up, nigga. Okay. You're abusive. What did you just skip the court? Up, That's what I'm saying. You're That's stupid, you nigga. Dude, the court was big. You're stupid, court. Up, nigga. You're stupid, nigga. The the court, court, I was wondering who would call. fucking show up and who cared. Like, but apparently yeah. you people do. What do you think that says? You didn't even show up to your own queen. Yeah, um, <laughs> I called the woman myself, the dumbass. No, I no, 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 no. I picked her because no, no, no. I wanted to know you. who I was I fucking talking with. Get back. Get back. Jesus. I'm going to do a Dude. I don't think I do respect you, but we do. But you gotta like, you gotta stop getting mad at us and just start listening. I listen to the entire time. Yeah, Jason, you need to learn. You need to start hearing us. You need to start like, you need to learn how to be careful. I hear you. You're actually fucking insane. Fucking sociopath. You're psychotic. I don't know who. And you're a schizo. And you're a schizo. Yeah, we go all the good. What about Louis? Louis and Louis. Well, I'd be, I'd be happy to see you bother with us, but frankly, her <laughs> What about Louise? What about Louis? I have not met Louise. See, they they hide all their shit from me because they've known the entire time they've known me. The entire time I was there, they knew I wasn't in on the fucking gag. And she told them a whole bunch of lies about me that they believed and went with. Like, the big lie, they fucking believed. Where did that come from? What part of your brain did that come from, bro? Dude, I know why I'm here. I know why I'm here. I don't know. Talk about the other planets, man. Talk about the other planets, man. You say no. Because you're Muslim. People are just ridiculous. Okay. You've been. You're ridiculous. You think Louis, Louis, and Louis is three different people? No. You think there's a trinity of of Louis? Every four days you reset. You get mad and then you start saying. The system is meant to confuse and betray and keep people away from whatever they're actually doing. This is just the outer layer. I'm not even trying to find out what the fuck you're doing. I don't give a shit what a bunch of fag hags and a big fat fuck with a bunch of fucking boss does. I don't care. I don't care. But it does end for you, though. <laughs> There's no reason to do that. Yes, you get on camera. You have one more chance to show up the court or we're raiding your house. Honestly, do it. There's nothing here. I don't give a shit. This is all you must do. There's crack all over the place. You can say it's medicine, but it's over. Dude. There's crack all over oh, the fucking no, peninsula. You, you don't go brave in that, do you? Bro, you Everybody else you does it, but suddenly, yeah, well, they're suddenly, they're the it, suddenly it's my. Suddenly I can't have my own visual beliefs. Suddenly it's I'm something lot. special that you gotta fucking write a problem. I think you gotta speak up. I think. Yeah. That I think that you're mistaking the purpose of the demonstration. I can handle yeah. something. You clearly can't. You, know, you people are. Mm -hmm. You broke the restraining order twice, and everything you've ever said is an illusion. I don't have a restraining order. No. Yeah. I don't have a restraining order. Yeah, because you think you don't. That's the problem. They have restraining orders against a different person that they've made no, no. cardboard. Like, they've made a completely <laughs> synthetic. Dude, I actually feel bad for pedophiles. This is how they're made, bro. Like they actually no, don't no, know what they're no, doing. Dude, you're an idiot. Kind of I know what you're doing. You're attempting to get me to be some sort of no. cardboard, but I'm not. It's the look. It's like the oldest fucking book of the Are you Yes. Why the fuck would you ask me that? No, no, no. Is that supposed to be? I don't care. It's fucking Judah with the fucking soundboard. Like, you're not that sophisticated. You have no idea how much information you have. Okay? That's the only like when you're stoned. I'm not going to lie. I don't really care. Yeah, start smoking. I don't even know the real you to be like you. I'm not. The main reason why I'm letting you talk to me. No, no, no. That was the acting. That was the acting. Stop. That was the acting. There's a fucking. There's 176 people. There's 176 people. There's 176 people in the event in the Facebook group, and I'm the only one that's blocked. They're obviously up to something. We leave on top of a turtle. I don't care what you're doing. I'm not a fucking investigator. I don't have a bone to pick. I'm not looking for vengeance. I'm kind of curious what the fuck you're doing. I'm going to pick your bones all over the place. I'm going to harvest your bone marrow, you fucking pussy. Come get some. Come get some. Fucking moron. Shut up, little man. Dude, I don't care. You're gonna scream him alone. I don't don't step on him, boy. I don't, I don't care. Little boy. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna flip you. I don't care. Okay. I don't want you to do I don't care. I don't care. Like, you're gonna want you to do it. You probably should have behaved though. What? I want you, Jackson. Oh, yeah, so get on. Dude, let's go. <laughs> no, probably you're gonna have to get a lawyer and then have them call me because. Well, actually, probably your parents uh, because I find you to be trivial. I find you to be insignificant. 
<laughs> most of what you're doing is most of what you're doing is, a, is really, really, really inappropriate. Hello. This is the night, yeah, Jane. Um, you don't understand how it works because you're <laughs> children. <laughs> yeah, how does he know it's not a woman? Because I, because I can well, fucking talk your soul. I mean, you were, Jesus Christ. Listen, what do you see in my soul? Do you understand how? Do you understand how the ABC? I go to I go to I go to, I go to the pet store. I go to the pet store and there's a fucking magical compulsion making me come to the pet store. I suddenly think, oh, I need pet food. Oh, I suddenly think, oh, I need a cat. Oh, I suddenly think, oh, I need cat food. Oh, I suddenly think I need this guy. I look up and I'm, I look up, I look it up on the web. I see there's five fucking stores that have it. I'm pulled. I'm pulled inexorably to the same fucking store the whole time. I save it for last. I walk in and there's this girl. And suddenly, it's no, as, no, as, no, as no, if the no, angels no, play. It's a fucking magical spell that the fucking piggy DEA uses. I don't really mind. It's kind of cool. It's kind of flattering. But it's done in order to compel behavior. How can I fucking identify or examine that kind of thing unless I subject myself to it? So once I figure out that you're, you've been doing that five, six times my whole life, I don't know if you're harnessing a particular person or if you do it to everybody, but you certainly did it to me. It's not something that affects me anymore. I found it to be fascinating. I wouldn't fucking cast a love spell on somebody if I could, but somebody else fucking did, and that certainly explains a whole bunch. I don't know if I need to prove in a court of law that I've been stalked by a bunch of fucking dick bags. However, I happen to know that I have. This tells me a whole bunch of shit that I'll be happy to share with somebody else later on when somebody who has a fucking ball in their head wants to fucking know what the fuck's going on. What's going on is you're a bunch of technological shit that you need to fucking sat down. I spend, I spend time here exclusively because I don't really care to have you follow me around anywhere else. I'm just, I'm the bait, and you only need that makes you I'm the rod. an extremely interesting character. Why are you mad at us, though? Because you're children. You're children. I'm not mad at you. Okay, we own you, though. You don't. What are we going to do? You don't even own you. Are you not mad at us because we're children? No, I'm a fascinating individual. It's reasonable for you to be interested in And for you to behave this way. For you to behave this way, it speaks to how your your culture is. You're taught you're bad. I don't care. Let's check, sir. What's good about us? You're young and you're hopeful. You mean well. Aww. Thank you. The young, the youngest have the youngest so called Kyoku. But nevertheless, you are still abusing yourself. It's disgusting. It really is. You're the, you're the kind of people that parents don't want their children around. You're dementing. You're dementing. Jesus Christ. This is the Lord. I don't know if you know. I don't, I don't want, no, I don't, no, I don't care. Please don't, please don't share with me. Yeah, well, yeah, it's been a home no, of rapacious no. pedophiles for no, decades. Man. It's been a group of people that associate fairly loosely. And I know so much about this group. Because I've been watching you for years, and I was raped when I was 15. And the fucking bitch who raped me was hiding out there because she's afraid of me because she knows goddamn well how it thought her. Now, I don't have any reason to fucking have a vending strike, but keeping, keeping tabs on you people was a good idea until I figured out that other people were doing that as well. Now, I don't have any particular reasons. I don't think pedophiles are automatically bad, but I do think that this kind of behavior is very corruptive. Did it feel good? Um, well, not entirely. I don't think that I, I don't think that I should go along with it, but at the time I thought I was doing the right thing because I figured if somebody wanted to have sex with me, then I'd like to have sex with them. But if I had any inkling that that person wanted me to have sex with them, yeah, it was because I was 15, and they were all 16 and 17 years old. They deliberately, they bought a sex worker, and they pretended that it was a fucking organic date. And they were so fucking stupid. They were stupid, and they thought that I was actually... Did you get the nut off, though? Dude, in like like eight seconds, of course. Yeah, then we're good. We're okay. It's, no, you're, it's not that you're okay or not. It's, it's not up to me. Like, I'm not really worried about it because I chose that path for myself. I thought that was better than what that fucking person was doing to... Believe me, her friends were shit. Whatever their plans were, it wasn't to make me happy. And the reason why she was upset was not because she wanted to have sex with me. 
she was obsessed. She was being groomed by a fucking gang of prid fucks like you. Their whole fucking life. Oh, her mother told me she was being stalked. Right. She was being stalked when she was five years old, dude. No, no, no. There's holes in your game. There's holes in your game like Swiss cheese. You're done. You're wrong. My point, my point, my point is, it's obvious that you don't have any people. And that's when you like tasted the cheese with your mouth. I'm glad I put myself out there because it's disgusting what people have done. And now you're done. Tongues on your fingertips and you're done. Done it once. Yes. 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 If you go and kill right now, you're done. You're done. Don't don't kick him. Don't kick him, don't kick him Jimmy. Don't kick him. Can we do Bible study? Yeah, we definitely can. But don't kick him. You have no power. So I have like eighteen thousand or more. You look like Pepe the Frog, gang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At some point, someone's gonna come by and gonna want to round you all up. That Jeremy, that Jeremy Salvador guy in in the UK, he's like ninety or something, and they fucking wanted to prosecute him, and then he died. People are eventually going to figure out what they want to do. It's an illusion in your head. It's not real. It's not. Your eyes are twitching. It's your not, eyes are yellow. You're on It's not pedophilia. You're done. You're done. You're done. It's a systemic question of the soul, you fucking morons. Your eyes moving. Literally. Where is it? Where is it going? Oh, the biggest eye roll ever. It ends for me. It doesn't end for you, but it's going to be something that people will look at. And if I were not behaving this way, people would wonder what the fuck I'm doing there. Like, do I secretly want to have... No, I don't want to, I don't want to have sex with either her or her daughter so much. I want to be able to say that I don't, because I don't. I didn't I didn't really want to have sex with somebody who was older than me. I wanted to get it out of the way. Shake it on camera. <laughs> I don't need to explain myself to you. When I, when I talk to a therapist about it, I'm sure that'll be really exciting. Shake it all over the place. What is it for? Because you're not worth my time. I don't have one. Yeah, I'm trying to get that. That's the question. What about Luigi? If you were to be asked what you think of Mario, what do you think is happening? What is that noise? That was a ball. That was a gong, bro. Chinese in the house. That's the mole. Yeah, yeah. That was a Chinese gong. No fault. Yeah. You see with your eyes open, Dexter. They have this house before I ever heard of it. This house was been. This house was passed out of the world, and I wasn't supposed to go there. Yeah, yeah. This house was been. This house was passed out of the world, and I wasn't supposed to go there at all. They killed my friend by putting her here. They left her here to die. They killed her. They killed her here. I know that that happened. When I first. Possessed or demons? No, you're possessed. You're possessed. Don't worry. What's your opinion? What's your opinion on Phil Twister? Uh, I don't have an opinion other than that he's undoubtedly a ringleader of some kind. So you do have an opinion? Oh God. Listen, you're dangerous. Like, 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 I don't want anything to do with anybody who could be used against me. Really I don't good, have any taste in the entire operation. Oh, yeah. And yeah, frankly, know, I think I'm doing the world a big favor by slowing you down even a little bit. I don't think anybody knows what to do with any of you. I don't think, oh, I don't think they have any kind of uh, interest or manpower in, in, in going through the entire scene. But there are people who are doing that kind of thing. And uh, since I've been the same kind of person the whole time... Your nostrils are speaking to me, and I love what they're saying. Yeah, I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't have any concerns anymore that I used to have because I didn't understand. Why. I didn't understand why somebody called me a pedophile when I was so young, but now I get it. She thought that I was into pedophilia, and that's why I didn't go whatever it is. It was because she had a bunch of she had a bunch of shitbag friends, and I thought less of her for the way she comported with them. And I didn't think she. I know, but you like you I didn't think she had that over and, and you let her ride it, so it's like it ends for you. I think he's innocent. Uh, I know. And then I let her because she asked. No one else did. I wanted to see what would happen, and now I know. Well, this is now. Yeah. Her mother told me that she was being stalked by a pretty girl again, and I swear I'd be careful. I'm a moron. I'm a bunch of fucking morons. Bunch of pathetic fucking dicks. And and these people have money. Sure, I'll get a job. Client, fuck off. Seriously, pathetic.
Oh, Tanny. Too fucking bad. Did she get a real job? And I've been using the speed in order to bait you. And then you use you, you used it all the time. Didn't invite me then. Oh no, not good enough for me. Oh no, 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 no. Stuff for me, but not for thee. Fucking losers. I cannot go anywhere and feel safe while I am myself, so I will be completely <laughs> hiding my identity. As soon as this shit is all over with. I mean no for I'm in no particular rush. I haven't really planned it out. And I don't really relish the thought of having to run from a bunch of little fucking bitch boys like you. But it'll be an, an eternal enmity. You offer nothing to my life. You do not give me any comfort. You do not appeal to me. Your imagination, you have some sort of feeling that, well, we're going to do this to him. We're going to treat him like they treated us. And that, this, that means that we like him. And then we, he should respond in kind. No, you're a bunch of codependent freaks. You live in a way that is not appropriate and you don't care. You actually get off on the violation of consent. That's that's a mental disorder of some kind that is not well understood. Certainly not by me. I haven't paid much attention to it. I didn't get off on violating consent. I liked the fact that somebody was interested and acted like they needed to ask. So I allowed her, even though I was too young legally to do that. Now, I had no idea she wanted me to have sex at all. And I still don't because there was three of her. These fucking people, they line people up. I walk in there, there's a person with a name that starts with an A, one that starts with a B, one that starts with a K, which is also a C, A, B, C. They have roles. They have different names that start with similar letters. They do this so they can identify themselves quickly when there's a new person. It's so that people can come and go in and out of time and not have to worry too much about what kind of person they are. Oh, you're from the future, but you have a name with a B on it. What in the name of God do you want now? What? I, know I just want to know. I just want to know people who you've been hiding from me. <laughs> you want to know who I've been hiding from you? Myself. You have no idea who I am. Because you boy. Uh, I don't recognize you very well, but I don't need to. How can I help you? You need to. Hold on, they're calling me. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Fucking morons. I know, I'm sorry. I think people might be trying to kill me. Oh. Well, um, what kind of threats have you heard besides scary conversations? They think I, I want to hurt Jeff Bezos. They're claiming that because... I saw it on the internet a long time ago. <laughs> and since then, I've been doing a lot of work on myself. My aura is yellow and... I can make requests of things I like and I want for myself and be able to be kind to other people. They're taking advantage of you and you've been here way too long. You weren't meant for doing this. I'm sure you want to help people. I couldn't hear all that. They're taking advantage of you because you've been here too long. You think I've been here too long? You mean alive or in the city? In the circumstance. What circumstance? Well, the one where you live with your abuser and you think that you're having a normal life, but you're, it's not really normal. I didn't know who you are. I still don't. And for years, you treated me like I was some kind of a worthless, degenerate, uh, sycophantic six addict. When I wasn't, I knew who you were when I first saw you, and I knew there was something you were lying about, and I wasn't going to just say, oh, all right, it's you, because that would have given you power, obviously, and by waiting... I, no, I don't think you should say that to me. I'm kind yeah. of losing my voice and getting thirsty. Yeah. But I know I drank a lot today. I, I didn't know you drank. Well, iced tea, not alcohol. Oh. And 
I had a Coke and a coffee. If I had there's something, there is something happening with my voice that yeah. I can't sing anymore. You, I'm forgetting all this music I used to know. Well, I, I know that you're being... And that cooking hamburger meat. I don't know who you are at the moment. They're replacing you with another person who's not the same one because it's not fair for a person from the future to live in this way for 40 or 25 years. I didn't know who you were. Well, I started to believe everything you said about me that I was a time traveler. And I don't really no, approve that. That's not really what I said. That's not exactly who you are. There's more than one of you for one thing from my point of view, but it's still you living in a linear experience, but it loops back and forth itself on in time. There's a bunch of, there's a number of classified technologies that have been used over the years that have been used to torture people, and you're, you're not, you're not only one of them. You've, you in the future of your life, you decide to help people, which is very noble, I think, and you're not the only one. I don't know how it works at all. I know there's a way that can, a person can um, take a, a hypnotic dream and then uh, have their consciousness move to a different part of the time stream and swap places with their own selves and they wake up and they're in a slightly different place. It's been uh, researched in uh, Russia and, and clandestine labs for, for decades. They don't talk about how it works. Obviously something happened that I didn't understand because I knew it was you when I first saw you on our first date. I knew it was you. The same pattern of freckles on your, on your boob. And then why you had inflated boobs, that didn't make any sense to me. I didn't need to worry about it because I trusted you to know whatever the hell you were doing. And I knew that I didn't know. And I didn't know what I, I didn't know what I was doing. What? <sighs> yeah, well, I've never given up on you. But considering how young I was, I found it to be in poor taste to be treated like I didn't deserve the truth. But I understand that you were afraid of what that truth might be. And you have been farmed by a gang of boorish, thug, brutish losers for your entire life. So I wouldn't expect you to think it's all that unusual. I don't know what to do about the situation, I'm not trying to rescue you, but I know that there are people who are using you and they don't want me around you and I don't particularly care for that being the case. I found Allison on Facebook. I chose to spend time with you because your spirit of the future came and visited me while I was looking at her picture and told me that you were going to get murdered and you wanted help to solve your murder. I thought that was kind of a hallucination, but then again, you're kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't know where you went after high school. Nobody wanted to talk to you. People kept saying things about you to me, and the same thing was, was funny. It wasn't fucking funny. People were grooming you and I to do things that they wanted us to do. They wanted us to be under their power. I didn't like it, and I assumed if you liked me that much, you would have come and found me, and you did. But you did it in a way I didn't understand. I don't, I don't know if I regret it. Not saying, hey, you're Timmy, because I don't like people when they call me insane when I'm right. In any case, the way it happened is this. You eventually said you were so, and then I don't expect you to be clear on what your identity is because you're being manipulated by people who give you very powerful drugs. There's not a lot that can be done about this since it's a military project, and I'm sure they're doing it for some reason that they think is useful. There's a lot of reasons to fucking traffic children, I guess. There's a lot of reasons for you to be used. But considering what they've done to body and how they're using that against me, it doesn't seem to be very good for you because I am not happy. I don't like what I see happening. I don't like seeing you not trusting me. I don't like seeing that person who pretends to be your father giving me any grief. And I don't see why each of us are in big houses or way bigger than our needs filled with crap while people manipulate us and drain our money. I don't see that you have any reason to think that I am trying to harm you. If I were trying to harm you, I would have spent a lot more time trying to do that in the previous 25 years. And when you set me up to be fucking filmed as a fucking assault victim, 
I could tell that you didn't realize what you were doing. You hurt me a lot. You acted as though I had done something wrong. I didn't. People lied to you about what I did, and you believed them, and you didn't even ask me. I don't hold this against you, but I do recognize that you're not at all being fair to me, probably because I'm not even talking to the real you. There's probably somebody on the line behind you who's saying words that are sent to my phone, and I don't hear your words because these people can easily turn volume dobs up and down. That fucking idiot he thinks it's the coolest idea in the world. You know why? He's, he's obsessed. He doesn't have any respect for you because he thinks I need to work. You're both a pair of fucking cast off Jews and you think that people need to serve you. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever your situation is, I'm extremely fond of you. I do love you. I'm not going to just let people push me around just because I'm fond of you. And I don't really care for the implication that that I have done something to you that you didn't do to me. No matter who you are, when you found me, you knew more than I did and you took advantage of that and then you demanded money from me as if I needed to give you money and then you took that money and you gave it to somebody else as if that's natural partial light. It's not, it's really not. And I don't know what to do about it, but I don't know how to explain to you. You hurt me a lot. You still hurt me a lot. It doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. I don't know what to do about that. And when I said to Allison that I wanted to talk to you and spend time with you, she flipped out because she's part of the gang that uses you and manipulates you to get access to your money, to feel good about things, and to who knows what else. It's a fucking abomination. It's wrong. I'm not going to just stand by and let it happen. And on top of that, nobody else fucking likes me. You did that for some reason. I'm guessing it's because you wanted me to have no choices at all, so you would have no problems about being rejected by me, except they didn't reject you. Your older thug handler who pushed you around rejected me, and then they manipulated you into that situation. I don't hold you as responsible as you might think, and even if I did, we all make mistakes. I think you're beautiful at any age, and you don't have to live like this. If you're not happy, I can help you change. If you think that getting rid of me will make you happier, you're mistaken because you tried that already. Now, I'm going to stop talking like this because it hurts my hand and my heart and my arm. I'm standing in a house that could be taken care of. We could be doing something with our lives. Instead, I'm not doing jack or shit until I find out what the fuck is going on. And I never want to see you with those fucking people ever again. And if I have to strangle them one by one to get it to go away, I will. They're scumbags. You don't deserve that. I don't know if you deserve me, but... You'll have to notice that I've never actually harmed you. I haven't. I don't know if somebody looked like me and beat you up. I don't know if they used some kind of hypnotic drug to fucking make you believe it. I don't know what I don't know what the fuck these creeps have done, but they have identified us at a young age as people that were fond of us at a young age, and they want to harness and exploit that energy. And they've been working on you a lot longer than me. I didn't even know this shit was real. Now I don't know what to do about it yet. I'm going to think of something, because I have nothing better to do, and you are the best that has ever been. There were three Baileys at Mud Bay. One of them was Grapefruit. One of them was you. One of them was your daughter. Or it was you in a younger daughter suit. I don't know, but there were definitely more than one of them. They definitely changed appearances. Anna was Allison. She also had some sort of way of... I don't know fucking what, but I was there, I saw it, and I was trying to figure it out. But it never occurred to me that you might actually be the actual woman and remember it. And then when I told you, we'd have sex and then you'd get killed or whatever the fuck. I don't know how it works, but it's a sick, twisted, wrong, and evil fucking thing that's being done to me. I don't know why you're in on it, except you have nothing better to do. And I don't really know what the fuck you would like me to do any better than what I am doing. That's why I don't call the police. And that's why I don't carry any weapons. And that's why if you want to see somebody else or whatever, go ahead. I mean, you're only 80 years ahead of me. I assume you've had all the other dicks in the world. If you don't like mine, well, you know, guess what? There's lots of things to be done to change it. And I'm not really concerned on that because I'm not a sex addict. 
or a judge. What I am is a tower. Fuck.